What is good y'all? This is JV here and today got a reaction for you guys. Really excited about this guy. This is a guy that I've been really hyping up on my channel since I discovered him. Dope MC man uh, out of you know New Jersey. Put out an album not too long ago titled Poem. One of my favorite albums that you know I've been listening to in recent times right now. And right here we got 11 in the morning which is actually the closing track on that album. Really excited to see the visual to it. Don't really know what particular direction he take, but you know he definitely has a vibe and over like a swag to his delivery and kind of you know the accompanying visuals. So I'm really excited to check this out. Let's not waste no more time. Let's get straight into it. We got Owen Overdose with uh, 11 in the morning. Let's go. Got the, we got the house shot. Is that his house? Oh, an overdose. Definitely been getting some big looks over there in the game, so I'm really glad to see him really popping off. Him, Nafla, Loopy, those guys, man. Warm piano intro. The regular drum pattern on this one, really cool. Surprisingly uh, busy flow considering the nature of the beat too. Real chill vibes on this one. Highlight of this particular song for me is definitely the instrumentation behind. Look at those brass touches underneath in the beat. Singing his own, you know, chorus there. Really warm, effortless kind of vocals. Love this as an outro too. And on the kit, you know, just hitting the sides. No, uh, lots of rim taps, you know, on the, the kit right there. So light percussion, but like you know, defined and sharp. Really, you know, articulated, you know, narrative driven bars on this particular beat. Which is an interesting contrast to some of the other tracks on this album for sure. But I mean, there's definitely like an overwhelming, you know, soulfulness and jazziness to this project. Lots of live instrumentation on it, as opposed to like, you know, electronic production. I mean, yeah, visuals are definitely, you know, pretty much what you'd come to expect with a song like this. Really beautiful shots, though. Trying to figure out where that is. I know he's based out of the East Coast, but I know he spends a lot of time on the West Coast, so how if I know? They got nice beaches on both sides. I love that drum pattern used on this one. And again, uh, Really light, you know, jazzy. Got some keyboard touches in there. A real light kick on it, not bass heavy, just real, you know, tight percussion. 
really enjoyed this. This is definitely like a song that I could come to appreciate on a deeper level as a musician, you know what I mean? This is definitely a, you, uh, not a song that he really went for, you know, on a, on a lyrical, uh, uh, the lyrical side. This is definitely a vibe-based piece. Definitely was loving it, man. And again, when you understand that in the context, this is the outro to an album, it, it fits more, you know, you know, better. Just listening to the track here alone, uh, it's it's impactful. But I think it's impactful on a different level when you listen to the album, the album and its completion, and then you know have this kind of fade out the the, the project. Loved it in that regard, really enjoyed what the visuals brought to it, but again, it wasn't necessarily anything that I hadn't seen before, and it wasn't anything, you know, mind-blowing or anything like that. Pretty much what you'd come to expect. Curious as to what y'all thought, so in the comment section below, let me know what you thought about the song and the music video. Till next time, this is JV, I love you guys, bye.